Hey guys, Luton here, and um, okay, I've got a bit of a topic today. Uh, first of all, before we get to that, notice the amazingly working as intended background here on my PC setup. As you can see, it's working absolutely perfectly, no glitches whatsoever. Um, but anyway, so <laughs> um, I continue on with my frustration at uh, not being able to find any games that are really playable, um, but I came across something that kind of greatly concerned me this evening. Um, and not only that, but I kind of had a little think and I spoke to a lot of other people and I had a little bit of a Twitter conversation with Westy and a couple of other people there as well, corporate as well, and um, we all just kind of like bouncing around ideas about sort of Battlefield and moving into the future. By the way, this is just a uh, Damavan Peak Rush game, 32, and it's like, meh. It's like, okay, I think I finish positive. Definitely not a particularly amazing game. I'm running M320 because I want to get M320 smoke, but realistically, how much more are we going to be playing this game now? The beta is coming pretty soon anyway. Um, so, yeah, I've been thinking more and more about just online play in general, and I've been trying to kind of understand what is going on. And a couple of people asked me, like, what, what, what do you think is causing the issues in terms of player people? You can see Flame here talking in the chat, and we were talk we were this is what was my grave concern. We were trying to talk with this guy uh, Atrophy, and I think he owns this server. I think. And basically, I had been saying in the chat, like, man, these games suck. They really have not been working very well because we had three or four games which were just awful, so bad total wipes, total steamrolls, and you might be like, oh, you, just because you were losing. No. We had two games where we steamrolled them, and I was saying, this is awful. Like, this is... And basically, he he said, he was like, well, what are you complaining about? You you won the games. What are you complaining about? And and this was what it was. He couldn't... He couldn't understand... And by the way, I just want to say, I'm not having a go at specifically atrophy. What, what this kind of was for me was like a realisation that something I had never really occurred to me, which is that people maybe couldn't understand. I, I can't imagine actually having the mentality of, provided it's a win, that's all that matters. Now, you guys know, I like to play for the win. Okay, that's what I like to play for. It's not about kills, it's not about sort of, you know, if I finish negative but we win the round and I've armed a lot of objectives and defended things, I feel very happy with that, you know? But what what it was more than that really was this concept that he couldn't understand that anything other than a win was a good game, and I was trying to see I was trying to say like well he was like well what would be a good game then you won so what does it matter and I, and I was saying well no look it's because it's a steamroll do you not understand like that that's a bad thing even if you win you know because even if you win in a steamroll situation. That's not a good game. That's often... Uh, it doesn't really show, like, your skill. It doesn't really challenge you as a player. And I often remember very much, uh, in the past, in the past 15 years when I've been playing games, and particularly I'm going to reference WoW because I've played that tons. It's a massive game for me in my gaming history. And again, I remember... Uh, and But this applies definitely to Battlefield. It applies to Bad Company Battlefield when I've been playing other people. It applies to other games that i played. And basically the situation is, you'll be playing with a team of people that you regularly play with. You'll steamroll some teams, like four or five in a row. Now I hate games like that anyway, but let's just say for argument's sake that that's what's going down. You steamroll these teams. Then all of a sudden, you're not really being challenged, you're not really having to think very much, you're just running forward, kill, 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 kill and you're walking over them, alright? And then, I mean, look at this, they've stolen our Humvee for a start off. Stupid me, pulled out my defibs. I should have got my uh, M320 because you can actually disable one hit there in the rear. If I'd have got the second one out, I'd probably destroyed it. Anyway, but the point is, as I say, you steamroll, steamroll, steamroll. And then, you suddenly come up against a team who have a little bit more about them. And what would always happen always happened. Didn't matter who my team was or whatever, they'd always be like, oh man, you know, it's uh, time for dinner now, or oh, I've got this I've got this thing I've got to do, you know, I've got this thing, this, you know, it's, yeah, we're going to step out from this game. And I'm, and I'm also just like, what? We've finally got a game which is like mildly challenging and everybody wants to leave? Is that not a little bit convenient? But more than that, as I say, what really got me thinking here was that this guy couldn't understand 
like I, me and Flame were both explaining like no 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 you know we're not complaining about the fact that you do not get it like he was like well what can we do he was like what can we do you want me to balance the teams more you want me to balance the teams more and we were like no you're, you're missing the point it's not about like just winning or how much you destroy your enemy it's about you know being successful as a team and having a nice balance of gameplay you know so it's like each base is a little bit difficult you have to really work hard to overcome it it's not about like completely dominating your enemy into the ground and then i was talking to a couple of other people after some of the games and we were sort of uh, we were kind of talking about this a little bit and we were sort of saying like well what what has kind of caused this change because people a lot of people i, I don't think it's rose tinted glasses i think some people and I think a lot of people would agree that the gameplay definitely has changed a little. I, it definitely feels like it to me. And I'm not just referencing the exact moment in time now we are in Battlefield, because I know a lot of, I've mentioned this previously this last week or two, where uh, we're talking about how um, we're in a, a sort of end cycle with Battlefield right now, okay? We're just coming up to Battlefield 4, and obviously the gameplay is going to be not as quality as it would be when you're in a new game where everyone is sort of playing and challenging themselves a little bit and they're sort of learning and getting involved in the game in a much more kind of proactive way. So I appreciate as well you kind of put a pin in that. But I think in a wide context, what occurs to me is that the kind of time period we're in right now is, you know, my age, I'm 30 years old now. Okay, which is kind of scary, um, but there's a lot of gamers like myself all around that kind of bracket, and basically, I think that we represent a slightly different generation of gamer now, and there's a lot of new people coming in, and the new people, the younger gamers, they don't necessarily. And I'm, I'm, by the way, I just want to point out as well. Okay, I, I actually, I'm not talking about like, oh, it's the kids, it's the kids, and it's not even a negative thing. It's, it's not even like, um, by the way, look at this amazing suicide kill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they get killed there. Um, it, it's not about sort of complaining about, you know, a generation or younger players and going like, oh my god, they're fucking up the game. Nah, nah, nah. That, that's not what it is. All it is really is like an observation of like how things have changed and the mentality changed there as well. And I and I also just to make this clear, it's a generalization, all right? Because there's always going to be people who play in a different way or don't play a certain way or whatever. So it's more kind of a trend if you like looking at a trend of style and also this is only just my theorizing this evening where we've been having a little chat so it's not like i've decided like permanently one way or the other this is how i believe it is and there is no other excuse no okay this is just my kind of musings and you know feel free to discuss this and say if you think if this is right if this is wrong uh, discuss it because like i say i'm always open to sort of changing opinion and uh, it's really just you know I, I struggle to kind of get my head around how some of these games can be and, and why the gameplay has changed to my mind to such a kind of detrimental way and so i try to kind of rationalize it a little bit and try and understand it a little bit and where i'm coming from on this is that basically from my personal experience because i can only obviously talk from my personal experience a lot of the people that I play with and used to play with, all in the kind of generational period that I have played in, had a much, I don't know, a, a very different approach to the way they would play the games. And it was much more about sort of playing with one another to achieve your objectives and sort of move forward, etc, etc. And that's why a lot of people that I know and a lot of people that I've had experience with all have that same kind of mentality. Whereas a lot of newer players that I have found tend to not have that mentality. It's much more about sort of bragging rights, who can be the most elite killer, who gets the best KD, etc, 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 and all of these kind of things. Um, although I've got to tell you as well, a, a, a quote that stayed with me for you know a long time was uh, from a player I used to play with again, wow, um, his name was Jassing, and uh, he was an elite warrior. Uh, I used to PvP with him tons and tons, and uh, he was a very, very good player. Well, pretty much like everybody I played well with was a very, very good player. Um, but he always used to say to me, he was like, it doesn't matter win or lose, it only matters who's on the top of the board. And he always used to say, no one will remember like the most objective player. All they'll remember is who's got that top score. And he's totally right. But unfortunately, that kind of theory kind of bleeds into gameplay way more than it ever used to now. And it's much more about that kind of who is getting those scores all the time. And people have that mentality. And the same with the steamrolling thing. It's like people actually don't see why that's a bad thing. And I'd never really kind of like, I guess you kind of thought about it, but it never really kind of clicked with me. Um, it never really clicked with me until now. Like I never really sort of thought 
greatly about it in that sort of sense and until i spoke to this guy on this server on this chat and he was like he, like he literally couldn't get it we were explaining to him like no 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 you, you're missing the point like it, it's not about like if you win or how hard you win it's just that the team should have some you know good gameplay they should have some kind of constructive give and take and it's a it's an enjoyable game to play and he was like no no he was like what what do you you mean like we should balance the teams and he was he couldn't get it like he couldn't see it in his mind like what the the deal was now I, I don't know whether we were just not explaining it very well or what but it just kind of clicked with me that like hey you know maybe I've been coming about this wrong maybe it's not such a conscious choice maybe it's actually more along the lines of people have a completely different outlook like they're looking at it in a completely different perspective and it never really kind of dawned on me that like because I just can't imagine in my head that people could actually think that way you know in my mind like I just can't see that you could actually think like it, that you know steamrolling a team over and over and over could in any way be a positive thing like I just can't imagine that that would be the way anyway so and as I say I, I do put that in part to this kind of generational change where we've kind of gone forward in time now and it's just kind of like I think there's a few other things that go on board with it like the whole kind of sphere of gaming has changed there's YouTube now okay there's Twitch streaming now okay there's Twitter there's Facebook the entire internet and everything that's changed around that has you know it's all kind of developed and all moved forward it's a, like a symbiotic thing it's not one thing like I've said before one of my, some of my discussions right it's never one thing and that's why I say as well it, it, you know and also like I was saying whilst um, I was kind of saying that I believe that there's a kind of generational thing like where people have come in and they have a slightly different philosophy slightly different approach to the way they game they maybe game for slightly different reasons than people that I know would have used to um, but also at the same time, uh, you know, I don't want to say that that's entirely the reason because I believe as well that, you know, a lot of people play for different reasons. In fact, some of the players that I know are the most trolling and horrible tend to be actually older players, not necessarily younger players. But that whole kind of concept, I, I just, I don't ever remember in the past, this is really where I come from, on it. I don't ever really remember in the past the whole kind of troll play or kind of just racking for kills play. Like in any game I played, I just don't really remember it. Like, I don't really remember it being a, th a thing until the last sort of five years maybe. Uh, not even that actually, much more recently, a few years even. It's become this quite recent thing and I think the face of the way people play their games is changing. Playing for different reasons, uh, having different personal objectives. And it really is changing a lot. Um, but as I say, at the end of the day, you can't really say to people well this is the right way to play or this is the wrong way to play now i do not enjoy the way things have changed at all uh, and personally i can't imagine in my mind like why people would enjoy doing these kind of things they seem futile irrelevant and just generally not enjoyable um, but that's because i have a different outlook on why you should be playing etc i just don't you know it's a different view for me than it is for other people so where do i go on this it's been kind of really disillusioning me at the moment and they're kind of I've got to tell you like I've said before as well coming onto PC It was probably a bad time to come in um, because of the way th look at these guys here look look at this I mean, it's a great example. Do you see that right? Look, six guys all trying to get through this bottleneck where there clearly is enemy firing down Why would you do that? Like it's mind-bogglingly stupid. But anyway um yeah, where does it where does it leave us moving into Battlefield 4? It's a great worry for me, actually. It's a real great worry because I've literally been thinking like, Jesus, man, like if this is how Battlefield 3 is, what you know, how is Battlefield 4 going to be? Am I going to be able to hack it? Am I going to be able to even hack playing the game? Like, or will I really just like burn out and be like, my God, I can't handle this anymore. I just can't handle this insanity anymore. Um, but it, it leads me on to what I was saying about in other videos the other day, where I was basically saying. I think what I need to do, look at this, nice nice tank stealing. Maybe instead of tank stealing and staying down here at the spawn, they should have moved back up to their own base and helped defend the objective because, oh look, our team pushed through and they've armed the objective. And meanwhile, those guys are down in the tunnel, but they've left their entire base undefended. GG, you know. Anyway, yeah, where does it leave me? Well, it leaves me thinking that basically what I need to be doing is, like I said, get a server and play exclusively on that server. I think my plan is what I said. I'm going to get a server for Battlefield 4 and I, I think I'm just going to stay in that. I'm too terrified to get into public games because of how they are now. The, the face of public games has changed horrifically and I'm not the only person that thinks this. 
most people that I play with have kind of said the same to me that the play has declined to an unplayable level public games are just unbearable now and it's not even about people playing in the games it's also the setup 64 1000 tickets one map 24 7 on and on and on you know the score there's a few maps that there's a few sort of servers that may be playable but it's severely declined so i think for battlefield 4 i'm gonna have to like i say stick to a specific map and not go outside of it but let me know your thoughts guys do you think that we have moved to this kind of different period in gaming where the rules and boundaries have changed and people have completely different mindsets and objectives or is it just that perhaps some of the game cycles we've been playing have kind of deteriorated and therefore the general quality of play right now has gone downhill and that when new games come out we'll see a resurgence of the kind of more constructive gameplay right across the board. Um, put your thoughts below and also tell me about kind of generational things. Are you a new player? Do you find that you always play the objective? It's probably going to be a slightly skewed audience I've got to say bear in mind the kind of people that follow me on this channel so it's not necessarily going to be the best cross section of players but if you're an older player too let me know your thoughts do you find that you think it's changed overall from compared to what you used to play maybe 10 years ago if you're a new player what's your thoughts about kind of trolling and kind of people just focusing solely on themselves not for the team does it frustrate you as much as anything else drop your thoughts below guys and as i say i will be aiming to set up a, a server for battlefield 4 when we get to that point but uh, more on that in the future thanks for watching guys see you next time